Off the southern coast of Italy, a 65-meter superyacht cuts a path through international waters. It's late June 2013, and the White Rose of Drax has just begun her early season maneuvers. Captain Andrew Schofield and his first officer have carefully charted a course that maintains a safe distance from land and underwater hazards. The course appears on the ship's electronic chart display as a series of waypoints connected by straight lines. The officers on deck keep an eye out the window and on the radar to avoid collisions with nearby vessels. To stay on the course line, the captain either makes direct periodic adjustments to the ship's heading or supervises an autopilot that performs the same task. This far from land, the crew's and the autopilot sense of the ship's location is based entirely on civil GPS signals. The White Rose of Drax and her crew are part of an unprecedented experiment led by the University of Texas at Austin to investigate maritime navigation security. From the White Rose's upper deck, University of Texas graduate student Jashan Bhatti, acting in the role of attacker, commands a custom-made GPS spoofing device to transmit a faint ensemble of counterfeit GPS signals toward the ship's GPS antennas. Within the antennas, the fake signals come into precise alignment with the authentic signals received from a half dozen or so overhead GPS satellites. As the attacker increases the power of the spoofing signals, he obtains control over the ship's primary and backup GPS receivers, and, by extension, control over the ship's navigation system. The takeover is clandestine. Both GPS receivers report healthy signals, and no alarm is triggered by the radar, the gyro compass, the magnetic compass, or any other instrument on the bridge. After obtaining control, the attacker commands his spoofer to redirect the ship on a new course, slightly to starboard over the original one. On the bridge, the electronic chart display shows the ship drifting slowly to port. Such a drift isn't unusual, it could be caused by ocean currents. The captain, or the autopilot, applies a course correction to bring the ship back onto the course line. But, in reality, the maneuver has put the ship on a different course, on the course the attacker commanded.